Are you struggling to provide the correct resource name for your edit text in Google Play pre-launch reports? You're not alone. Many developers face this challenge, and today we're going to clear up the confusion. I totally get how frustrating it can be when you think you've got everything right, only to be met with an error message saying wrong resource name. It can feel like you're hitting a brick wall, but don't worry, we will get through this together. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. A user asked how to provide the ID of an edit text for filling in credentials for pre-launch reports on Google Play. They tried several formats, including at plus ID edit text login, edit text login, and rid.edit text login, but nothing worked. Sound familiar? Let's dive into the solution. So what could be the issue here? The problem often lies in the format of the resource name or how it's referenced in the pre-launch report. Understanding the correct schema is crucial for success. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip that can save you time and headaches in the future. To provide the correct resource name for the edit text in Google Play pre-launch reports, the user should ensure they are using the correct format. The resource name must be in the format of package name ID slash resource name. Next, the user should verify that the edit text is properly defined in the layout XML file. The ID should be declared as follows, Android ID plus ID edit text login. After confirming the XML definition, the user should check that the package name in the resource name matches the application's package name as defined in the Android manifest.xml file. Finally, the user should test the pre-launch report again. If the resource name is formatted correctly and matches the defined edit text ID, it should work without errors. Fun fact, did you know that the first Android app was released in 2008? Just like technology, our understanding of resource names has evolved significantly since then. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. One user suggests that the correct resource name for your edit text should simply be the name of the field like edit text login. They explain that the Android resource name is either the file name without the extension or the value of the Android name attribute in the XML element. They also share a unique case where they use two fragments for a sign-in process. The first fragment collects the username and the second fragment collects the password. They provided examples of the XML code for the edit text fields and buttons used in their implementation. Here's that quick tip I promised. Always keep your resource name simple and consistent. This will save you from a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. You should now be able to provide the correct resource name for your edit text in Google Play pre-launch reports. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more tips and remember to share your experiences in the comments.